It's early spring and this Venus flytrap needs to be divided and repotted. In this video I'm going to explain how I go about doing that. I'm also going to be giving you a few tips on how I try and reuse and recycle these old leaves from the previous growing season. It's all about trying to make do with what you have whilst giving your plant the best start for the growing season ahead. So as I said earlier in the video, I like to reuse these old Venus flytrap leaves and I'll explain later on in the video what I do with them. But before I unpot the plant, I like to remove those old leaves by hand. They're quite easy to remove, being so old. They were produced back in last summer. Now as you're removing these old leaves, try not to trigger any traps. Now this is completely optional. I, I know it's sometimes quite hard not to trigger traps and I have triggered many traps in the past with no ill effects on the plant at all. But I just like to conserve as much energy for the plant as possible. Now you've got to understand that this plant here has conserved energy by laying down low during the winter. And now it's diverting all its energy into producing these new leaves. Of course those new leaves will form into traps and they're eventually going to trap insects which are going to benefit the plant by providing vital nitrogen. When you trigger the traps it's a bit of a double whammy. You, the plant is spending unnecessary energy closing that trap but it's also not receiving any benefit. So just try to be careful when removing those old traps. Now any traps that you can't remove by hand, just leave them where they are for the time being. So we're going to start by unpotting the plant. To minimise any damage to the leaves, form a dome shape with your hand, with your fingers around the rim of the pot. Squeeze the edges of the pot to loosen the peat moss. Gently remove the plant from the pot. Start by gently removing peat moss around the rhizomes. Gently start removing the rhizomes from each other.
Keep the roots hydrated by placing the rhizome in a shallow water tray. Be aware of any leaves attaching to each other. Separate these leaves with care. Gently untangle any loose roots. What's interesting is that I found this established ant colony living amongst the peat moss and amongst the old leaves. I like to add the old leaves to the peat moss in which the plant will be potted into. This way you're recycling nutrients back into the peat moss which can then be absorbed by the plant. To a lesser extent, the old leaves provide some sort of aeration within the peat moss. Freshly clean some pots that you're going to be placing your plants into. Place some peat moss to a third of the level of the pot. Position the plant by holding the center of the rhizome slightly above the pot. Start by filling in peat moss around the roots. Try to avoid spilling peat moss into the traps to avoid triggering those traps. It helps to lift the traps before positioning the peat moss around the rhizome. Tap the pot a couple of times to settle the peat moss around the roots. Place the freshly potted plant into a tray of water to hydrate the roots and the peat moss.
Oh, and don't forget to reuse the moss that you removed from the original pot. The moss will eventually establish itself, forming a carpet-like layer on top. This will help to insulate the roots of the plant, as well as helping reduce water evaporation. Place the old leaves around the base of the newly potted plant. These old leaves will act as a type of mulch, reducing water loss from the peat moss. Water in the old leaves and press down firmly. This will help to reduce the mulch from being blown away by the wind. So here's just another example of how I've recycled those old leaves. I've got some freshly potted, very young, big mouth Venus flytraps here. And all I've done is I've just sprinkled these old leaves on top. It acts like a very light mulch. At the same time, it also provides filtered light to these young plants. It allows light in, but doesn't allow too much fierce sunlight onto those leaves. Some young plants can get quite vulnerable to harsh sunlight and I'm pretty sure that having this light mulch on top also increases the humidity slightly which the plants appreciate. <clears throat> and the way the plants look I'm pretty sure that they do appreciate this light mulch on top. <laughs> 